guys, welcome back. And in this tutorial, we are going to create insights. And what these insights are going to tell us, one insight that we're going to create is going to tell us the lifetime value of the customer. And also it'll tell us about how many reservation the customer has made so far. So in order to create the insight, you will come over to this calculated insight tab here and click on new. So select new and the data space that is automatically selected is default. If you had other data spaces, you will see the list here and there are different ways of creating the new insight. And we are going to choose create with visual builder as the option behind the scene. This visual builder is going to create a SQL query, SQL query. And if you are aware of how the SQL query is written, this would be very, very simple to understand. But either way, behind the scene, a query is being generated and I'll show you the query once this visual builder is completed. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and create it with the help of visual builder and click on next here. And the next thing it is asking, what type of insight are you interested to create? Is it a calculated insight or a streaming insight? We are creating a calculated insight. So we're gonna go ahead and click on next here and then we'll say, get started. So now what is the object? Where is the input data coming from? So we want to calculate the lifetime value of the customer. Now, where is this information is present? This information is present on the reservation object because on the reservation object, there is a total price uh, field, which basically tells you that, okay, these were the reservation ID and the total cost for the reservation. So the object that we're going to select is the reservation object, but just the reservation object is not going to give you each information because we want to calculate how much money a customer has spent since day one. So we also need a connection between the individual and reservation. So here we're gonna click on the plus and we are going to choose the join option, right? So we're gonna go ahead and do a join with another table and which table it is, it is going to be an individual table, but we have multiple individual table. One table contains the duplicate uh, or records and the other one is unified customer profile. So which one we're going to use? We're going to use the unified individual CCID but there is no direct relation between unified individual CCID and the reservation object. So behind the scene, two more joins will be created. Okay. One is to link the reservation with the individual. And then from the individual, there is a relationship between unified individual with the help of unified link individual CCID. So automatically these have been created. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and it's an inner join and uh, this is it. And we're going to go ahead and click on apply. Okay. And now the next thing we're going to do here is we want to calculate two things. Once we have gotten the data, we want to calculate the total lifetime value. So we're going to go ahead and click on plus here and click on aggregate. Okay. Now what data to aggregate? So we're going to go ahead and calculate measures and sum of sum of what total price. Okay. Total price of the reservation based on what based on the individual ID, right? So there can be one individual can have multiple reservation. So we're going to go ahead and click on next here and we will call this as lifetime value of the customer. Okay. And we will hit apply. That is the first metric that we are going to create is the lifetime value of the customer. So basically we're behind the scene, the fields are being created on this calculated insight. The first uh, field represents the lifetime value. Let's say you want to measure something else. Now this time we want to measure count of reservation, how many reservation the customer has made so far. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we will count the reservation ID means, okay, eight reservation, nine reservation, all of that. So here we're going to say total reservation per customer. That is the other metric we are creating. Now, the important thing is we need to do what is the dimension, the group by, right? We have to group by the individual ID, unified individual ID. So that's the one we're going to select and hit next here. And this one is called unified individual ID. Okay, hit apply. 
So based on the unified individual ID, we are doing the grouping based on the unified individual ID and we are calculating the total reservation per customer and also the lifetime value of the customer. Here we're going to go ahead and save and run. I want to make sure also oh, we have to hit apply. Save and run. We'll call this as lifetime calculated insights. Okay. Hit next here schedule you can run it every one hour or we can every one six hours every 12 hours if a schedule publish doesn't complete before the next publish starts the schedule publish is skipped so we're going to go ahead and leave it to not schedule and enable so this will take some time to calculate the insights okay and what will happen is you can actually see what data in in the insights after through the data explorer okay and you can see here the expression that it created is this is the expression so it is saying select sum reservation total price so on the reservation object we are doing a we are doing a total sum of total price and we are calling it as lifetime value of the customer we are calculating how many reservation ids are there so we are doing a count of reservation id and that is called as total reservation per customer and then here there is a join that is happening all of that and at the end there is a group by so based on the individual id we are calculating these things so this is an sql query that is created behind the scene with the help of this visual builder so it's better to work with the visual builder it's easier because you can visualize what you're doing and then if you want to see what's happening, then you can explore the data through the data explorer. So if I go to the data explorer, select an object type, calculated insight. And here you're going to see that calculated insight that you just created, and it will have three columns. Right now, there is no data in these columns. So give it some time, let it run. So if I go back to the calculated insight, let's see what's going on. It's not scheduled, it is active. So the data has not yet populated here. And let's go ahead and click on publish now. There's last run status and last run time was blank. So now we have published now. So it's, it is pending right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the data explorer. Once this status has been successful with the data will appear in the calculated insights. Okay, so give it some time and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.